Hi guys, Damran80 speaking and I know it's a bit late but I've been really getting used to the controls, have to get into the game and I've started a new um, game so we're starting from scratch. Um, I know what all the things say, you might not so I'll when I use them I explain what they are. But what I've done is reset all my vehicles to this point so they're all here I think they should yeah they're all here except my trailer wait a second just let me grab my trailer there we go now my trailer is here as well I've reset all my vehicles except my combine and my header for the combine because that's already in place so you get three of these on normal mode and easy mode and hard you get one of these tractors one of these and this normally you get weights on them on easy mode but no on normal mode but on easy mode you don't I don't think you get them on hard either I'm not sure because I haven't played hard mode yet I Ah, this is just telling you something about the field, blah blah blah. It's saying, oh, this field's filled with wheat. This is how to use your combine, blah blah blah. I'm going to push that forward and press higher. I know how to use that. I'm going to press higher and let this just go along on its own and I'm just going to let that go and do its own thing until it's full so I'm going to have to get one of my tractors ready most probably the small green ones I'm going to sell two of these right off the bat because I don't need them. All I need is like one. So I'm going to use this one just to collect everything. So I'm going to take that to this field out front. take that out to here I'm gonna have quick tag to my object okay uh, okay okay whatever I'm gonna take this one and my other one to the um, store so I can get like some nice some more money so I can buy better equipment straight off the bat because if you can buy better equipment or more fields that's what you really should do because yeah the equipment may cost more to buy but you don't have to pay more in maintenance because I think one of these tractors is like 15 pounds maintenance you don't think that's a lot but I have to do that every day on the game so it actually does cost quite a bit in maintenance and if you take it to the box and sell it here you get 20% more than if you sell it normally so I'll take my last one except one of these tractors to the the PC version is a lot different so if you don't like the look of this one have a look at the PC version it's, got, it's a lot better a lot it's a lot smoother run because it it has a lot better quality you can get mods on it and all that on here you have to purchase them if you have Xbox Live I don't so I can't purchase like mods and stuff like um, new tractors and stuff so I'm at 24,000 right now and I'm getting 15 no 
12,000 for this tractor, so I'm on 13,7. I can't buy any tractors yet except one, but that tractor is just a bit of a waste. If I wanted to, I could buy this and the forks, but I don't want to yet. I could buy another one of these tractors or another header. Might do that. But what I'm really looking for is probably a new trailer. Because you get very fed up of your trailer very quickly. Or a new... Probably... I'm, I'm looking really for a hat, here it is, a spreader. Uh, it's only 9,000 so I could buy it without selling anything anyway. But this is what it is. I'm... Ah, he's full, he's got his spout out so I need to go and pick it all up in this small tractor. It's very good. It, you see all these strips, if you don't have like a picker upper, what I might be able to purchase, don't think I can purchase now because of, of what I've just bought, but I'll have a look how much it is, so I can pick, pick it up later. No, I couldn't pick it up anyway, it's 18,000, so I can't pick it up, but you get money for taking in crop, so... This you can use to help you like look at your um, items, what the weather is going to be like. All I look for is the weather, so all the rest I don't bother to look at because I can't read what it wants me to do. So now, if I reverse, no, is it reverse? No, that one goes on the front. So. I'm going to drive forward and put on this cultivator. You can buy a cedar what does cultivating for you, but you get less yield out of it. Yield is what you um, basically are farming off it. Like the yield, what I'm getting rid of is the stuff on the floor right now. You only get that with... Um, no, um, barley and some others, but if you noticed, I haven't filled up this front piece because I'm going to press higher in a minute, so like that one's going on its own. This one's going to go on its own now, so it's the help buys like fuel, seeds, whatever you want, and and just sending him along he's fertilizing it so and he's making it so I can put seeds down for the next harvest he goes a lot quicker than my combine so eventually I'm going to have to stop my combine stop him to stop him hitting my combine but if you um, want to buy other like fields you're not limited to one you have like millions on the xbox and the pc pc one you get more and like worlds but when you originally buy the first game and don't and you don't know how to put mods on it you only get one map xbox you get two maps so i think that's a bit of a burner it's 24 and i have 27 so i am going to purchase this it's 70 no it's 54 hectares that's some um, acres or so what I'm gonna do is get my other ah I've only got one group okay I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on these two what I'm gonna do is when he reaches the end is unhire this person and just like take off his um, back and I'm going to get the cedar I've stopped him for a reason is because I've bought a new field and I want to start getting a very good yield right away 
and getting a lot of crop. My first harvest, I didn't plant that first harvest, that's already there when you start the game, so as soon as possible you want to get someone or yourself doing it, it's probably easier to get someone else do it, because they do a lot better job if you hire a helper, I think it's H on the PC. He's stopped now, so I just need to press. Yeah, I'm going to keep it as this seed for now. So he's going to see this whole field, probably take like a day. Now I'm going to have to take my other tractor to empty this one. I know you might be able, you might be skipping across it, but if you don't skip the first one or the second one, I'm going to give you quite a bit of information about the game. Then like through the others, I'm not going to give you as much information. So. You can skip along and just go to the exciting parts like when I'm buying something. If something takes me a long time, I'll skip it anyway. Like if I got the huge damn field, i just skip doing most of that. I'll probably just unskip the bits where I'm rushing across the whole field, back and forth of the fields. Because you're going to see how much these, the bigger harvesters take because they are very large harvesters so but if you notice that brown line just there where he hasn't been yet that is what he's spreading so that's where he's riching it then if you find it, see a like really really brown bit where he's already been that's where he's seeded I doubt you can see it on the camera I think you can but I'm not sure so but that's where he's seeding it now, and that's why he hasn't seeded. Note I haven't cultivated this one. All the fields are already cultivated when you buy them, but afterwards you do have to cultivate them yourself. So, if you notice, I'm not putting this guy on the cultivator what I've dropped up there he doesn't have like front weight or enough weight to hold his front wheels down so I wouldn't put him on the cultivator because he would just wheelie and waste me money just by driving straight into where is basically behind me where that phone box is I'm just going to drive a bit closer to him so when he next needs emptying, it's not going to take as long. But if you see, he, this guy's not taking so long. He's just going up, down pretty quickly. He's costing me quite a bit of money because I have this big thing on the front to make my yield bigger. So... You might have to spend quite a bit of money just to get some decent yield out of the place. But after you start getting yield out of it, you do get quite a lot of work done. But on the first like couple of harvests, you're just going to go like, I'm not getting anywhere because I'm spending more money on my workers but after you start getting quite a bit of money and you start getting more fields like I have got more than one field now you get quite a lot of money quite fast because there's different ways of doing it you don't have to do it the same way I'm doing it now if you want you can stay on the first field that small field and go save up and get a huge huge field or if you really want to you can spend ages and make your own field if you're going like how do you make your own field if you buy a plow 
you can plow out like the outline of your field and plow the inside of the field then you go to where you've already plowed and press whatever button it is to hire help and they will go on only on the bits what you've already plowed but if it's like already set in the ground like this one okay you don't have to do that type of stuff only if you put it in grass if you put grass on the floor you have to replow it so if you're going to put grass seeds down you have to make sure you're going to keep that area as grass so it might get a bit boring after a while just going like oh I could have easily put that as something else so I would say if you're going to put grass down only put it down when you have cattle or sheep and put it only in like what these two fields because after you've got cattle and sheep these fields would disappear basically because you won't ever use them again and grass never disappears it always stays grown where normal crops like I'm seeding now will like wither like die off and after they're died you have to just cultivate over them if you have that happening quite a lot that's when you kind of have to think wait a minute I've got too many I've got too many crops my farm can't handle it and that's when you start cutting back at things Ah, sorry I just want to get rid of this because I'm getting fed up of these yes I know how to use those so if you do want to buy this game I if you want to buy this game it's actually a very good game and I highly adjust it's helped me with patience hasn't helped me with patience much because it's a waiting game so if you haven't got the patience for the game just don't buy it because you just gonna frustrate yourself waiting for crops to grow you can speed up time but it doesn't speed up the growth as much as you think that it does normally you have to wait like eight minutes oh also you can pick up there and what's inside the bin the bins are just where like all the crops are stored what they have harvested is put so if you do that it's just like one piece if you've noticed that was he hasn't turned back and gone up there as soon as he finishes the field he un he basically quits after that People call him How uh, Howard or something. I, I just call him Help. Hired Harold. That's normally the main one I call him, Hired Harold. So I'm just going to send you through like me doing this once, then I'm going to do it like another three times. Uh, so I get a bit more money because it's a bit boring watching me doing the same actually no I'm only going to play on this map on this exact map when I'm recording because it takes me like three hours I believe to fully record a whole video and ah, these are the silos I'm going up to there's a grid over there what you can pick pieces up and I'm t there's already stuff in the silo so if you want to take stuff into the silo and just go fill me up it did fill me up there's still more in the silos it's just when you do one field you get filled up quite a lot so now I'm going to take this to where I normally take it I think you can take it to another three places but 
I take certain things to certain places. Eventually, I will try and get us into potatoes. Because you can do potatoes, wheat, um, barley. What else can you do? Canola, corn. Uh, what else? There's one more thing what you can do, but I've forgotten what it is. Uh, sugar beet, that's the last plant you can. And of course, grass, but that isn't one what you can. You really need to farm. But then you have two types of that animal. You can choose. You can get pigs. No, not pigs. That's on a mod. You can get sheep and cows as a mod on the PC and I think on the Xbox as well. Um, you can do, if you want to, you can get corn and like mush it up with a different type of harvester and do fuel with it, like you leave it to ferment and how could I put it, if you leave it to ferment it just like makes itself, you cut it, you put it in big like troughs and stuff it ferments itself and you get work from that if you notice it's tipping out now but if it ferments and you dig it up and put it in a certain place um, it's like works quite well. I'm just resetting them because it takes like ages to drive up and down, up and down. This guy's nearly finished so what I'm going to do is take just the plane tractor now over to the start of here. I haven't seeded this bit yet if you remember I've only started cultivating it so I'm going to get this guy ready to put the seeder on the back of this one because the seed uh, doesn't, it doesn't weigh anything. Then I'm going to put the cultivator back on the back of this one and just keep them going up and down on that. But if you, you can probably not even tell how much money I have or what time it is. But I've only got 8,000 from that one harvest. Actually I probably only got... 7,000 from that harvest and I'm probably going to spend like 3,000 on workers on how much workers but if you do just like keep the first field and don't buy this one you'll probably be on like 10,000 still I'm only on 8,000 because I bought this whole new field I hired help and I bought a new item but if you sold you probably could be on 20,000 if you do it correctly or on the PC you can cheat money in so I'm just going to walk around the farm and show you parts of it because he's going to take a while he's probably going to get stuck on a tree that is one problem in this game if you notice on some maps what you see on the PC they don't get stuck on maps at all but on this game on this map you that's a very big popular okay you know that stuff what you put on the what was all on the floor of one of my fields after harvesting if you pick that up with a uh, picker up a trailer I've forgotten what they're actually called and reverse and tip it all in here you get money for it or you can turn it into bales and put it in there or if you really want to you can just keep the bales and stack them inside of a shed or something there's oh they do also there is another animal they do chickens but chickens just don't really bother with you have this shed this shed and this shed and one more shed over here, if you can, yeah, you can see that now. 
those I'd just like to put vehicles in. Two sheds in front of me. Those are a bit different. If you do potatoes or anything, you put potatoes in this side after you've put in a trailer. Then you put sugar beet in this side. If you notice, there's already some sugar beet in here. Yeah, they give you a bit in the sugar beet sides as well. If you buy chickens, cows, or sheep, they go in pens. This is the chicken pen. There's always one chicken in here, a rooster, what I've wanted to kill. You don't get any chickens or cows. But if you get them um, sheep, you will have to get a forklift or some type of machine to pick up the bales of wool so that is another issue with it you can get trailers to put them on but there's no real point uh, 26 minutes probably take me all night to upload but this is what I do for you if you I'm going to do at least three videos if you if I think it's got a decent response or I enjoy doing the videos I do like one or two more just like get some more response out of it if you guys really don't like these videos I'll stop them for a while and restart them again so because the people who are watching at the moment are different to the people who are going to be watching in like five years time because I'm really hoping to be able to like see people eventually haha one the tractor got stuck in the tree so but it's got most of this seeded so I'm going over here now because I don't need to seed the whole field I just need to seed most of it anyway but now, if you notice, I've passed it, passed the um, cultivator, and uh, you saying, "Wait a minute! I thought you were putting the cultivator on this vehicle." Yeah, first I'm putting the cedar down here for this little green or bluish tractor to use, and I'm going to put the cultivator on this vehicle. The um, physics on this aren't the best. I'll say that now because I can drive through, drive up like a mountain with like the biggest trailer that there is with some tractors. So the physics aren't the best to use, but they're better than nothing, I suppose. You sometimes do get confused with buttons quite easily because the same button does this quite a lot of different things so now this guy's going on here that one at the back's been seeded now this guy's going just cultivating because the seeding is going to be done by this little blue green tractor if you can tell me what the color actually is of this tractor if you own the game please do because then it be something I learn and I used to be a farmer and stuff so I don't know what the actual tractors names are normally they do say the names but I can't read them so if yeah that's another thing if you do send me a comment can you please record it and like say it but if it's something mean just don't bother if if you don't like the video don't watch them because if you don't like it don't watch it there's no point I know there's a lot of different things I do last video I think I did was a zombie advice no uh, an advice leaning thing and now I'm doing farming simulator 2013 I think before I quite a when I first started I started I did like a picture one of Fast and Furious 
then I did a Minecraft picture one, then I think I did an actual video of me playing Call of Duty Zombies, number two. I'm not, I'm not someone who wants to just like stick on one game. I want to like play loads of different games, go out, go and meet you guys, but the only way I'm getting this type of stuff done is with you. Because I've had quite a good load of comments of my videos, what's making me do even more videos. But if everyone just wanted to go like, oh you suck, you are an arsehole, to every single video on YouTube, there would only be like 18, 1000 videos because no one will be keep on making videos. But now there's like 23 million videos on YouTube so and growing there's even more YouTubers now so think about it without your guys support YouTube wouldn't turn into what it is now YouTube's a more faint you can have more chance of getting famous over YouTube than over TV so the only way I'm doing this is with your guys support if you don't want the game I try and change the game if I see a game what you like or one what's just freshly came out I'll wait a while save up for the game and try and get the game most people would have already played it already if I've seen the game on YouTube and I like it I'll play it if you don't guys like it I'll still play it but I just won't use it as much because I've got Steam now and I'm going to eventually get my laptop up for recording so you can't say you don't put any you have no input on YouTube you have all the input there is so please just don't be a dick and say oh you videos of crap and stuff you'd be surprised how many people get that and you'd be surprised how many people actually have quitted YouTube because of it so don't be a dick even if you hate the videos just go like quit dislike uh, say something they can improve and just move on you don't have to go like you suck you, you're like an asshole and all that stuff just don't do that type of thing. thing. Just tell them what they could improve on and give them just a dislike. That's all you have to do. You don't have to make an hour long speech about how bad they are. So just really take in mind of what you are putting in into YouTube when you write something down like that you can be taking away another person's piece of hope okay back to the game anyway I think I chatted about that for like five minutes now the, the game is a bit easier just very easy but you, if you just notice there are, I just went on randomly just went on to something completely random off topic of the games uh, that's what I do if I find something on YouTube what annoys quite a lot of YouTubers I try and put it into a um, I just play a game and put it into the game so if you get fed up of that that is just my type of thing because I I can't have a set topic. This guy, he's nearly finished cultivating this whole field. He hasn't even barely dented seeding this field yet. But he's getting there. I've set this up for another run at taking some cuts down. So, I think I'm going to take out a loan. A loan is basically where you can take 
some money from the bank, but you do have to pay it back from. I think you've taken a loan out from the bank right from the start, so. Right, you go away up to two million pounds loan, but you're already on like a hundred one million pound loan, so it really depends if you want to take a loan out straight away, like I'm doing now, isn't the best idea because you lose a lot of money, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to give myself a load of money, you only get in like 5,000 pounds amounts but I've done that so I can get some way of giving us some amount of money to get going I can get a plow I don't want one if I really wanted to I could probably get a yeah I can get a bigger combine and just run with that but has only a 5.4 meter header or I can get a one watt or I can think I can put on a 7.2 meter header on and this is the big boy what's cost a hell of a lot of money so if you're going to get that one you have to make sure you've got a very good way of getting money. This, it really does depend where you are on. But I'm thinking of selling my huge big tractor, what maintenance on the older vehicles. Two that, no, 270 pounds a day of maintenance I do on that vehicle. So I could have always get rid of that, get another one, what's just a bit more expensive on purchase ways, but it's only £80 maintenance a day. So you really do have to think on, is this vehicle going to help me in the long term? But bigger the tractors get, more the thing is. This is only... Eight eight thousand nine hundred pounds. The maintenance on it is two thousand no two hundred and fifty. Tell me how many days I have to own that car, that tractor, until I basically paid more in maintenance than the tractor has. It's not going to be that long. Then you have the huge tractor what comes in two types track or wheel like three thousand this is three million fifty nine thousand yeah three million and fifty nine thousand pounds so they're not cheap I don't think that's the point of them being cheap Okay, this guy's finished. So I'm thinking of just chucking off the back of this. Um, and fitting on the cedar. Yeah, that's probably the best idea is just to chuck on that cedar on this tractor. Then. Because the bigger tractor goes, of course, faster. So I'm going to just grab that cedar after sometimes you can have a bit too much weight on the front so you really do need, need to balance out your vehicle but if I drop this cedar and put it on this tractor it's going to go super fast it's going to go rapid across these it's going to go super quick it's going to get everything done oh you can run out of fuel 
But when you're hiring help, you don't really have to worry about fuel. What I'm gonna do, cause I'm running, running out of quite a bit of money, I might, no, I don't want this going the way, so I'm just gonna push it out the way for when I'm next harvesting. Okay, this guy's stuck, but that doesn't matter for now. Okay. I am going to buy a better tractor. So, whoever's stuck in for 40 minutes, you're proper person, so I am going to buy after selling first I am going to sell my green tractor I'm only going to get 10,000 off it when I normally normally can sell it for 12,000 but I can't get it unstuck from where it is so I'm going to sell that tractor for 10,000 and apparently I have another one. What? I can't sell the tractor? Why not? Let me have a look. So why can't I sell it? You cannot sell this vehicle. Uh, I should be able to. Okay, what I'm going to do is, while he's seeding, is drive this to the place where I can sell it, so I can buy a bigger tractor. Because if I get a like more modern, bigger tractor than this, I don't have to pay as much in maintenance. Because I want to put my maintenance bill as low as possible, and like my plant bill. My, like my income a lot higher than my outcome because my outcome at the moment on seeds help and maintenance is like 70,000 no 2,000 pounds so okay tada I've sold it because I'm buying a vehicle, I would have had to come here anyway. I'm not getting that because that's just idiotic. No, modern but not powerful. That's old and very expensive. Could purchase this one. It's really, you have to look at the chapters what you are purchasing because are they going to help you like further down the line so I'm not going to purchase another one of those I'm I am going to purchase this green one it's only three one million and thirty three thousand to purchase that's quite expensive it's got one thousand 1,004 horsepower, no, 142 horsepowers, and the maintenance on it, because it's a high horsepower vehicle, 130 maintenance a day, but I think that kind of outbalances its horsepower, because I can keep this one for a long time, so purchase. Well done, you have purchased a new vehicle. And here it is. And actually, thinking about it, I'm going to purchase a new trailer so I can carry more. So I'm going to purchase this trailer, what's 2000? No, two million and one thousand liters I think it is. Well done, you have purchased your item. 
and I can't sell. Why can't I sell it? You have to take it to the. But here, that trailer is as well. It, they, all the trailers and vehicles always spawn here, except the animals. The animals go straight to the pen. But this tractor is a fast tractor. I, I have a um, another account where I have a huge trailer and when it's full this tractor can pull it at 20 miles an hour still when it's full going uphill so it's very powerful it does come in handy so that's the reason why I bought it because I'm not going to have to sell it l later on I can just go I've purchased it and I can just keep on doing work with it so it's best to have something what you can keep on doing work with and not need to sell it later on like if I bought I'm gonna have to sell that trailer but I've bought that trailer because if I I could have bought the huge trailer instead of buying a tractor on a trailer but if I bought the huge trailer I can't take all the stuff inside the bin of my harvesters the harvester I own at the moment out I have to wait until I have a brand new harvester so I'm getting 4116 pounds for that so not too bad so I'm going to take this all the way back to the farm and see how my seeding has been and it's only been 47 minutes so I might do both videos now because I think I can go up to half over an hour so I do both no I might just keep on going and just Nah, it's probably best I do two videos. Because knowing me, I'm going to bore myself half to death. So, see, he's done. He's fired himself. And I'm just going to speed up time. So when the next video pops in, everything should be um, good. So you know what to do. Press that subscribe button.